What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to talk about something a little bit different and that's actually being terrified of going to the doctor. I talk a lot about how I went to the doctors all the time, uh, getting constant and needing constant reassurance, right? External reassurance. But there are also a lot of times where I was completely terrified of going to the doctor. I wanna cover that today uh, for those of you that are dealing with that because you are not alone. But you know what time it is. Smash the like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt. Leave me a comment. Let me know if this is something that you deal with. You are not alone, okay? That's what this channel is about. Remember, guys, if you haven't gotten into Elite Anxiety Boot Camp, I help with anxiety recovery. It is step-by-step -step my blueprint on how I personally overcame anxiety. I designed this course in a way that it's basically me talking to me whenever I was going through anxiety, and I had it so freaking bad. So... Um, these are some of the things that I needed to hear in order to recover. So I know if I was able to do this, there are so many of you out there that can do it. So take advantage of this if you haven't. It's in the description and in the first pinned comment. So guys, being terrified of going to the doctor. Man, oh man, I don't talk about this enough on this channel. Usually you hear, I couldn't stop going back for more reassurance. <clears throat> but something would happen whenever my symptoms would change, right? And I know a lot of you can relate with this. When your symptoms change, because they do and they will for most of you, you get nervous. You're like, well, this isn't what I was dealing with. Maybe this is something real. So then you jump on Google, which do not do. You find out that it's something horrible, right? Because you're wired to negativity. You're going to assume that the worst stuff at the top is you, right? And then you're like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I, I have heart disease or I have MS or ALS or Parkinson's or brain cancer. Oh my God, I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh my God. And there's that period of time for a lot of you where you're actually terrified to go to the doctor to hear them say those words, you have cancer, or you have heart disease, or you have MS, right? And it actually keeps a lot of you from going to the freaking doctor for a long period of time. And for me, this period of time would range from either a few weeks to a few months. To a few months. I remember when I first dealt with my cardiophobia, it was probably about two to three months before I actually got an EKG because I couldn't bear the thought of having a heart problem at 21 years old. I think I was 20 at that time. I couldn't bear it. I was like, just hearing the news that I have a heart problem would give me a heart attack. I'd die right there finding out. So guess what? It kept me in this realm of uncertainty, in a realm of the unknown, right? Very confusing time. It was complicated for me, but it held me back. I wasn't able to get any initial reassurance. Now, guys, I know, I tell you, we don't need to constantly get that external reassurance, whether it be testing or doctors. But in the beginning, if your symptoms change, go get told that you're fine. Over time, you'll start to pick up on this, and you're like, look, it's just my subconscious changing up the message system. I still have work to do. Because once you adapt to certain symptoms and you're not fearful of them, they start to fade, right, and dissipate. But if you haven't fully transformed and your subconscious still has more plans for you in your growth process, because I believe anxiety is a sign that you need to grow, then it's going to change up the symptoms. Because your subconscious is like, well, he needs more work or she needs more work. I, I, he's not scared of the chest pain. She's not scared of the headaches. So I'm going to give them twitching, right? I'm going to give him twitching. Or I'm going to give her uh, burning sensations on her skin. Maybe that'll wake her up and maybe that'll kick her in the butt so she'll actually get help and, and, and change. So that's what's happening. But I would go through these periods of time in the beginning of, of suspecting a new disease or something that I was terrified to go to the doctor to bear that news. Eventually, what changed me in, in recovery was like, look, look, it's a win-win situation. And it is for you. So stop doing this because you're holding yourself back and you're dragging out your anxiety journey and, and recovery if you're entering recovery. Like, all these months added up to about a year of me being terrified to go to the doctor so think about that that's a lot of time but it's a win-win situation you either go and find out that you're healthy which 99.9% .9 of the time you you will right we got to stop thinking we're that tiny tiny statistic that's a big problem with health anxiety right or you do find out and by some tiny tiny chance you actually have that issue right you have that disease guess what now you get to be treated for it and you get to get help for it and your chances of surviving or overcoming it or curing it or recover, whatever the situation is, are a lot higher than, you know, let's say that by some tiny, tiny chance you have something wrong. You're going to wait six months because you're too terrified to find that out. 
That's six months that it could be getting worse. So it's smart to just go ahead and get that initial reassurance and be like, okay, now it's time for me to work on acceptance and reassurance. Man, this anxiety thing's out of hand. I got to step back and I got to be more serious about this. So that was one of the things that was going through my head. I, I was just, I couldn't bear the thought of finding out that something was wrong with me. So if that's what you're dealing with, take a step back and realize it's a win-win situation if you go. Another thing, guys, was I had white coat syndrome. And I know I've talked about this a lot. You're basically scared that your vitals or numbers are going to be high. You anticipate this and therefore they skyrocket and then the doctors take notice. And it's just, it's a basically an association that develops over time. And of course, mine started with the heart rate and blood pressure. Um, and every time I would get out of the car just to walk into the ER or the hospital or anything like that, I could feel my blood pressure going up and my heart rate going up because I didn't want to get bad numbers. And then, of course, they would look at the numbers and be like, Trey, do you have a blood pressure problem or a heart problem? And I'd be like, no, I have anxiety. Why? You know, so it would just, it complicated things even further. That was something that stuck with me pretty much to the very end. Uh, was the white coat syndrome it was a very strong strong association i didn't even have to think about it my subconscious would just take over and shoot my heart rate up and my blood pressure when they put the cuff on me or whenever they put the pulse thing on my finger so white coat syndrome was another thing and if that's what's holding you back guys just realize what's going on here it's an association it's not because your numbers are high like that all the time it's because you anticipated it and it happened or if it was as strong of an association that mine was your subconscious isn't just autopilot at this point. Just don't react in fear and just accept it. Just let the doctor know, look, I got anxiety, I got white coat syndrome, and that's what it is. So those are the two biggest reasons I was terrified of going to the doctor. In this day and age, there's probably a lot of other reasons. Like I, you don't want to catch you know, this virus or anything like that or something like that. So if you're dealing with this, guys, hopefully this video at least made you feel less alone. I'm here at my dad's house. Um, it's beautiful out here in the country. I just thought I'd come out here and have a seat next to this good old cedar tree and do a little video for you guys. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, but again, the description down below, guys, there's tons of information down there, one-on-one -on -one coaching, my course that I've already talked about, uh, online therapy. If you haven't tried therapy, please give that a shot. It can change your life. Coaching can change your life. My course can change your life. It's already changing lives. So again, Remember, that's down below in the description and in the first pinned comment. Let me be a part of your recovery, guys. But please, again, leave a like if you got value. Please, likes help me out so much. If you're new here, subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified when I put out these videos. That can help you, right? Sorry, guys, my phone cut off there. So if you've made it this far into the video, I want you to go down below in the comment section. And in all caps, I want you to put, anxiety has no power over me. Anxiety has no power over me. Let's spread the positive vibes, the positive affirmations. Um, put that down below in the comment section. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. Um, enjoy your Sunday. I will be here tomorrow to record another video for you guys. Um, I love you all and keep fighting.